Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Siobhan and I'm a first year medical student studying medicine at King's College London. I also make videos on medical school and university, how to get into medical school, stuff like that. And that's what this channel is all about. So at the end of the video, do consider subscribing to my channel. So today's video, today's video is going to be how to start preparing early for your medicine application. This is mainly directed for those who are in year 12 or 11th grade right now. And even for if some people want to start really early, even for those in 10th grade or year 11, your uh, 13s slash 12th graders can watch this, but this, if this is you, then you'll already be in the deep end of things. So um, I don't know how much this will be, uh, how relevant this will be for you, but anyway. So without any further ado, let's get right into top tips and advice that I would give for those in year 11 and year 12 who want to start preparing for their med application. So my first tip would be to focus on your academics because that is the most important thing right now. Uh, at the end of the day, there are many components to your application to medical school, but if you don't meet the minimum required grades in your GCSEs and your A-levels, IB, whatever you're doing, then, well, there's no point. The, your application can be really strong, but if it doesn't meet the minimum requirements, it's not going to go through. So uh, definitely focus on your academics right now because focusing on other things is important. But if you start, uh, this is the time to prioritize this part of your application. Uh, so I'd say focus on getting the best GCSE, IGCSE, 10th grade grades you can get right now. And if you're uh, in your 11th set up, a, uh, your 12th, 11th grade set up a good foundation for your next year of A-levels or IB or whatever it is that you're studying. So my second tip, this is something not to do and it's do not start worrying and preparing about entrance exams just yet because um, that's not going to do you any good because preparing for the UCAT or the BMAT this early will benefit you some amount, yes, I guess it will, but the benefit it will give you won't be worth the sacrifices you'll have to make to add something like that into your schedule that early. So I would say start preparing for these exams just a couple of months before you actually give them so you can devote most of your time to them and so that all these skills are fresh in your mind and you are well prepared for it right before. So do not worry about entrance exams. The third thing I'll say is start worrying about work experience and volunteering. If you keep your academics on one side, the amount of time you devote to that, the rest of the time is available to do something else. And right now I'd say you want to devote that time to doing work experience and volunteering because work experience and volunteering are more of a long-term goal. So if you get work experience and volunteering, over a couple of years that will benefit you a lot more than cramming it into the year of your application somehow so um, doing such things like work experience and volunteering will not only benefit your application it will benefit you as well it will help you make decisions in life or later on in life on maybe what you want to pursue in medicine why you want to do medicine things like that it will really give you a lot of clarity and uh, additionally obviously it'll benefit your application because it'll show that you've made an effort to go out of your way to develop a greater understanding of what it's like to be a doctor or what it's like to work in a medical setting and uh, volunteering will show that you are caring and empathetic and you've tried to work in such an environment my fourth tip will be to consume a lot of medicine related content i'm talking books podcasts films Things like that that are heavily related to medicine and uh, basically similar to work experience, they'll give you a greater understanding of the field and of what the job entails, what being a medical student entails and uh, yeah, they'll strengthen your application as well because they'll show developed understanding and as they'll also show that you've gone out of your way to strengthen your uh, uh, 
understand medicine and basically things like work experience volunteering and consuming medicine related content are basically going to send in your personal statement as well as uh, give you a huge boost in your interviews because they're something that you can use to substantiate all your uh, points that you make and all the uh, inferences that you've drawn. For uh, medicine related content, I'm going to recommend a channel and that's a channel called Inside Scan made by, uh, that's run by a fellow medical student here at King's and uh, basically he has some great, great videos on uh, medicine related content that you can consume for your interviews or any other purpose. I think they're podcasts, their TV shows, uh, books, everything. So I'll link his channel and his videos somewhere up here. Uh, I'll put it down in the description as well. And then I want to talk about a sort of broader thing. It's going to be some advice. Basically throughout these years before your application to medicine, Focus on the, I'd say, seven, list of seven golden qualities and skills that I made a video on. I'll put that up here somewhere as well. Basically, these uh, skills and qualities are, okay, let's see if I can get them all. Approachability, problem solving, communication, empathy, resilience, teamwork, and leadership. And basically, note all of these down and think about where you've had a chance to display, demonstrate, and observe each of these qualities. And if you can note all of that down, you're in a great position. And lastly, what's the last tip I would give you? Okay, this is just some general advice. So, don't get too many things on your plate right now. Uh, balance it out well. Don't focus so much on one thing that you sacrifice the other and also uh, know what's going to benefit you at this point in time prioritize know what's most important and that will put you in a great place from today till the day you apply till the day you get into medical school and it'll benefit you later on in life as well uh, with that all i can say is good luck for all you your 12s 11th graders your 11th 10th graders uh, out there and uh, I hope you enjoy this entire process and I hope you get into the medical school you want to get into. I hope you get into a great medical school and um, keep watching my videos and I'll try to help you achieve your goal in the best way that I can. And yeah, uh, if you like the video, drop a like down below, hit the subscribe button and yeah, see you in the next video.